Hey there, this is Heather and welcome back to Civilization 6 as Byzantium. Before I get into the video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you can also leave me comments in the comment section down below. Okay, so where we left off, we are invading the Incan Empire to get revenge for the military emergency that Pachacuti joined against us. He caused me emotional distress and therefore he must pay. But before we do any more of that, I want to sell off some of this diplomatic favor that I have because I am losing diplomatic favor. And I just like checked this before I started recording and I could sell 60. Let's see if I can sell 75 or any more. No, he can't buy it. Okay. So we're going to sell this guy 60 diplomatic favor for 120 gold and six gold per turn. So that's 180 gold plus 120 gold, 300 gold basically. So five gold per, it's not like a super fantastic deal, but he doesn't have that much money and I need some money for troops and things like that. So I'm going to take it and you got to sell it before you lose it. Basically. Now, does Japan want to buy any diplomatic favor for me? They only have a hundred. He does have chocolate that I might want to buy. Let's see. Will he buy this? He will not even like give me anywhere near as much. What for the chocolate? What would this take? Seven gold per turn. That's insane. And I might even be buying it from him already. I don't know. Let's see. Um, global resources. I don't know about that one. Okay. No, I don't have chocolate apparently, but I'm not willing to pay that price for it. So whatever Japan, we're not doing it. Anyway, I have a lot of tiles that I need to repair and tiles that I need to improve. Let's get this guy taken care of first. I would like to get my Tagma, you know, north so that we can use him. You can't do anything yet. All right. I think I'm going to get this cattle right here when you can do that. And I wonder actually, oh, Pachacuti. Oh, whoa, look at this deal. I took one city. He's willing to seed that city. He's willing to give me 53 gold per turn. 53 gold per turn? But it's for 30 entire turns. Have you ever seen this before? 53 gold per turn. That's a lot. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This may be like strange, but I can get a crazy military together and then come back and absolutely destroy him. And he is going to be crippled financially the entire time. Like good luck to him. Good luck to him trying to survive this. It's not going to work out. It's really not. And in that time, I can continue to explore and find the rest of the AI people because uh, I haven't done that yet. Now, this Tagma, you know, he's just going to start moving north. We're not forgetting about our war at all, at all. Pachacuti has distracted us with shiny gold, but only momentarily, only momentarily. Okay, now we should go back to building the, Al the Alchemical Society. I don't know if I actually put any progress into that or if I was just thinking about it, but we need science because I was already like talking about this before, about how I needed to improve my military technologies if we were going to be able to beat Pachacuti and completely take over all of his stuff. I think he must have been really intimidated by Hercules or something. I don't know. I don't know. But we can just like get back in our empire for now. And we could possibly go after India in this time, but we don't really need to. We can just 
get our units together. And uh, then basically just, I don't know, destroy him in like a couple of turns once we do. I mean, he's going to be expanding probably in this time and I should probably get a settler or two. Like maybe, well, I can't put one there, but like maybe on this river and on this lake, we should do that. We should definitely do that, but not in the city because we need other things here. And it's too far away. We definitely need builders, that's for sure. But your production is very low. Very, very low. Not a fan. Not a fan. What can we get in here? We could get an industrial zone. Hmm. Plus two. That's not very good. Plus three. You know what? I don't even know what to say about this. Uh, I feel like I need to buy that tile, maybe and put a mine there. What did it say about this one? Plus three only. Mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. We definitely need more production. Maybe we should just like get more builders, build some mines there, get that tile, build a mine there. We need more mines over here, diamond mine, amber, need all kinds of things need mines there. We will do all of that in a matter of time. Okay, let's repair our shrine. I'm going to get a builder over there in a different city, though. Let's repair this farm. Hercules is probably yeah, he's not going to be alive. But the gold, the gold, like look how much I am now accumulating. Like 53 of of the 75 is from Pachacuti. And I haven't really had that great of an economy like so far in this game. Now, I could send Hercules to explore things because Hercules is very strong, obviously. Well, we all know that Hercules is very strong. And if he encounters anything in the water, like he wasn't going to live beyond 17 turns from now anyway. And also he's really tough. So if I put him in here and then teleported him to Montreal, he could probably do some good exploration for us. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Because like I said, we do not even know who the last like two AIs are. I think there's two left because I did remove two from the map to get more space. I think next time I probably won't do that. Maybe just like one. But um, I don't really like it when it's like super crowded because I like to build tall cities. And I need a lot of space for, you know, supporting the tall cities. So if I don't have very ample land and my cities all have to overlap a lot, then I, I'm not really too fond of that. So, okay, you, I don't know, you could guard the dam or something right now. I don't think that Pachacuti is going to be doing anything. He can't declare war on us, so he can't stop from paying that 53 gold per turn. I mean, good luck to him. He's going to have to pay that no matter what. All right, now, what are you going to do, builder? I mean, I need to improve a lot of things up here, but I also need improvements everywhere. All right, well, first things first, we could get the crab tile, but it's not a luxury. You're not growing very fast. I think what I should do, honestly, I should get a farm triangle like maybe here. But I really I need to get uh, the what's it called? I think I was going to get an industrial zone here and I can't check that right now. So why don't you just like come up here and you can chop that forest for me. And this tagma, I think this tagma is going to look over there because I do want to send some settlers over there. It seems kind of like pointless to do it, but if I don't, Pachacuti is going to settle it and then I'm going to have to conquer more cities and it's going to be really annoying. Okay, you are going to have to, yeah, I don't actually want you to go to that tile. Cancel that. I'm going to move you over here. And this guy, you're going to get me a pasture because 
I need a pasture. We could remove the marshes, which I've already talked about doing. Maybe I should do that. There's so many things to do though. I really need quite a lot of builders. I don't think I'm gonna bother to get a farm on this turn. Okay, now you go up here. And I don't really want to explore with this tagma. But I can't see a way to like really get him back over here. I don't even have celestial navigation at this point. So, I mean, I guess he can explore if he kills anything. We will get religious pressure on on cities, so if he kills something over by India or whatever, but we have open borders with India. So we can also just like explore in general. Okay, let's repair our library because I need more science. Need to get my military tech up, like I've been saying. If we're going to have a very efficient war, that's gonna be important. And I should probably improve this niter tile right now. Okay, you are just going to fortify here. And you... I don't know. I don't really need you over here. You can go in the city for a minute. Anything interesting to see? I don't... I don't see anything. And Hercules is going to explore, like I have said. Alright. Now... I would like to get these mines probably before the camp. The camp will add housing and gold though. It's not bad. I only have one more build though. That is a thing. That is a thing. All right, well, let's just improve this because we have that bonus resource there. Might as well. And yes, I did see that barbarian scout, but I'm not concerned about that. The unit's not going to be not going to be killed by it, that's for sure. I mean, he could try, but he'll just kill himself. Just kill himself in my unit. Not worried. All right. Now, I could get a farm triangle here, but you only have one build left. So I think I would prefer to just go right here. Okay. And you're not going to move anywhere, probably. Well, could just like keep watch and then you are going to go over here and wait for all the things that we need to do okay now i'm just like kind of keeping an eye out like i've said japan they're trying to send like buddhist apostles over first they stole buddhism from me which i'm not keen on and now they're coming over here with the apostles you better not try I've got two builds left on this guy. Hopefully my swordsman can help me out here. All right, let's get that camp now. It's kind of cool how it flipped the road around. Obviously, like I've seen that a million times, but I don't know. Sometimes it just looks more dramatic than other times. And that was a pretty dramatic instance, so. Okay, now Hercules, you are going to go over here. We have no idea what's on most of the map still, which is kind of funny. Oh, we can promote you. Well, we're definitely gonna do that. And let's get, mm, I don't know. I guess we'll get, we'll get barding. Okay. And we will repair a monument for the culture, even though it's like not very much culture. And we will repair our aqueduct. Oh. That spooked me. Well, we have found Pedro. It's an honor to meet you. I'll exchange information. Um, I would like to send you a delegation so I can find things out. And maybe you will give me a better price on luxuries. I need to see if I already have coffee, but what will you give me for this cotton? Ooh, look at that deal. That's pretty good. 10 gold per turn. Plus a five gold payment up front. Not bad. What do you have? You have a number of great works, which is not surprising because of the way that he plays. 
Um, maybe he would also like to purchase some diplomatic favor for me, possibly. Look how much gold I have. I will accept this deal first, though. And then, let's see, will you be interested in this? 21 gold per turn. You know, I can't turn that down. He's got, like, no diplomatic favor. I guess he's been using it. 21 gold per turn, so that is... 630 gold, I believe, plus 10, so 640 gold. Is this really, wait, is that, am I doing this math right? I think I am. I think it's actually like 640 gold. We will accept that deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, is there any way I can sell, I can sell you more? Because like, he will give me Eight gold per one. That is so much. That is so much. I mean, I don't really need diplomatic favor that much. He can't do this much, though. Okay. What about another ten? He'll give me four gold per turn for ten. What about fifteen? Mm, he'll give me... Okay, that's not as good of a rate, I think. But I'll sell him the 10. Yeah, I'll sell you that 10. For 120 freaking gold. My goodness. My goodness, that's a lot of gold. And I really need that gold because like I'm saying, we are going to like buy units and stuff. And um, annihilate, annihilate Pachacuti. I hope he is building up his campuses again. If so, I can pillage them and then instantly buy units using the new technology. So that seems fantastic. I'm very excited about finding you, Pedro. I know you can't hear me, but very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, we don't have any trade routes with city states that I know of, but the ones that are nearby are trade. I need to get trade routes going. And obviously, I don't have much diplomatic favor because I sold it, but... I didn't even sell that much, you know, compared to how much money I got for that. Okay, units of the chosen promotion class gain plus five combat strength. Obviously, I'm going to choose cavalry. I think I'm going to choose heavy cavalry for that. Um, it's only for 30 turns, so I don't know how much this is really going to help me because my piece with Pajakuti will last basically that entire time, so I'm not going to put much into this. We will see what it says. Okay, so we didn't get this. I probably should have just, like, voted for what they were going to do. And religious. Okay. Well, that's not actually bad because we do have Jerusalem right here. You know, this one's nearby and that's a trade one. But, yeah, Yerevan, I think Yerevan and Jerusalem are both, both religious. And we are about to complete our Pecha on the next turn. That's exciting. I don't think that we have failed at that. I think it's actually worked out. And then I'll be able to change out the card that I have in there for the industrial zone production, um, or 100% adjacency bonus. I don't think I'm gonna really need that anymore, but we'll see. Okay, and you just go here. Okay. So I'm gonna have the Tagma look around. Oh, and we found a barbarian warrior. Probably good that I sent him over there so we could find that out. And yeah, I mean, there are a number of good cities over here for sure that we could found. Lots of volcanic soil. There's a river here, you know, lake, river over here. Pretty good. I think that I will want to be getting just a couple settlers. Not that I'm going to need as many cities and it's going to be difficult with amenities but we do have the hippodrome which gives us you know three amenities more than usual so why not why not do it this time i didn't ever have like a ton of cities in the previous games i've played on my channel so first time for everything okay you want some strategic resources that I have an abundance of. 
You will give me a great work and open borders. That's not much gold, though. Hmm. And I'm already buying that coffee from you. Am I, though? Am I buying that coffee from you? Hmm. He doesn't want to do the coffee as part of this deal. Now he only wants to give me one. Oh, I've annoyed him. Will you give me that seven? He won't do it now. He's he's annoyed. He's annoyed at me. I will take this deal, though. I will take that great work. You can only get like two units out of this anyway, unless you're using that card that gives you like the huge discount. So that's fine. I will take your great work. I don't know which city it went to, but I don't really care. And our Petra is now complete. I mean, we definitely need more culture. It will help me get my civics faster. And right now they're not going very quickly. So the great work is like, you know, going to be valuable for me. All right. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Did he take it away? Did he trick me? How did this happen? Wait a second. How did this happen? I thought you gave me that. I have it. Where is it? It didn't show up. Ooh. A landscape. What does he want for this? Do you want Amber for this? He will. He will take just Amber for this great work. That is crazy. Why would you do that? Such a good deal. Don't tell me that that's not a great deal. Because it is. I just got a great work for Amber, which I have duplicates of. And don't need. I don't need it. And now I'm going to get more, more culture. But where did they go? Where are they? That's what I want to know. Where are they? Is this a bug? Like it said that I had them. It said that I have them now. But where is it? It says I'm getting culture and tourism from it. But where is it? Is this a bug? Because I feel like it is. I'm very concerned about that now. I'm actually quite concerned about this. Okay. Am I getting coffee? Because I don't think I am. And in which case I should buy coffee because yeah. All right. So I'm getting cotton. No, I'm selling cotton. Um, which I knew, but I don't have coffee. What are my deals going on? I'm selling Amber. I am selling sugar and cotton, I'm giving them two gold per turn for open borders. I'm getting six gold per turn. Um, selling amber and cotton. Okay, well, maybe I want to buy that copy then. I'm like trying to figure this all out. What would it take? Only seven gold up front. Dude, I like you. You are awesome. You give me such fantastic trade deals. It's like absolutely mind blowing. I will accept that deal. Only seven gold up front for coffee for 30 turns. That's not even close to one gold per turn. Oh my gosh, it's 23 off of one gold per turn. Would you like to buy something else for me? How about 20 diplomatic favor? Would you like to buy that? No, it's not a very good deal. I can sell it to somebody else for that. But whatever. Fantastic. This is working out great for me. Um, but where are my great works? That is the key question that I don't know the answer to. I think I would like to build an industrial zone in here, but I can't. I need 10 population. Well, an eight turn. So let's build this market for eight turns. Although I do want settlers. Well, we're not going to build it in this city because I need to get this done. I've decided that. All right. 
Now here, this city, I could definitely build or produce settlers. Let's do that. And then maybe I can put in a card for that um, after mercant mercantilism, mercantilism, mercantilism finishes. Okay. And I would like to get the theater square in here. The amphitheater, sorry, in the theater square. It will take me six turns, but I think I should get the builder first because I do want that. And you can also build me a builder. We need to repair your stuff because it's all busted at this point. It's just a mess, an absolute mess. I need to repair tons of stuff in here as well, but I'd rather produce that builder somewhere else where it will take less time. You know, ancient walls would be a good idea because the city is very exposed. Um, and I think that that makes a lot of sense. You don't have any amenities though. Hmm. Population's only four. I don't know about that. Well, I would also like a theater square. Hmm. Do I? No. Well, let's just see. How good of a theater square could I even get? Only plus one. It's definitely not really fantastic. What about a campus? I could get a plus two campus. That's also not fantastic. I could put, I could put it there. Hmm. I wouldn't really get very good adjacency on any of that stuff. Industrial zone. No. I mean, a harbor makes a lot of sense. I should probably build a harbor. But I can't build harbors yet. So let's just do the walls. Hercules, can you move yet? How annoying. He can't move over there. I forgot about that. Mm. I'm very slow on the naval technologies because they're just kind of irrelevant. And we have found Auckland. I forget what Auckland does. Shallow water tiles you own provide plus one production. Well, I don't really have very many water tiles, so I'm not really very interested in that. I have four envoys, but I don't really need them for anything. I mean, I can take this one away from Pachacuti, and it's like right near me. Um, I could build trading domes with that. Colossal heads. I don't know. I think I'll just save them because I have no idea what I want for that right now. I'd rather like make up my mind about that first. Okay. And let's repair our encampment and continue on with this tag. I don't think we need to really go down here. You already know what's there. And we're going to chop this jungle to boost the population, hopefully, and uh, speed up that settler. I think that I think that cut it down quite a few, maybe like half. I'd have to look. It was either at 13 or 16, so. All right. You can take a peek over here. Patrick Hootie tries to like send a settler out. I'm going to be irritated to say the least. You know, we don't have good visibility over here, so I kind of want to take a look. Yeah, you can just hang out. All right. Now, there are barbarians over here. It says I'll be able to kill this guy. All right, he's gone. And the builder needs to come over here to the diamonds next. And you can go down here. Man, those swordsmen have very, very low movement points. Just in general. Why don't you automate your exploration? And find me all of the things that I need to take away from India. Okay, we have completed mercantilism. Great. Alright. Well, we could get privateers, but we don't even have <laughs> the ability to go in ocean tiles with our um, military units, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay. I probably want to keep craftsmen right now. Maybe. Um, I have enough faith production at this point. I'm not using raid though at this moment. I think that I would like great scientist points because 
I'm not really getting a lot of science. And if I could boost that with great scientists, that would really help me out. Okay, now I don't really need this jungle either. I would like multiple farm triangles. So I think I'll get rid of that one as well. Just It's not appealing and all of that, so. Okay, we are, we're gonna attack here. What did I just say? We are going to attack. All right, you go here. There is an archer down there. I'm so scared, there's an archer. Um, I wonder if there's any land down there. I've said this before, but I really think it would be great if they added the ability to settle, uh, whatchamacallits, like offshore cities in the ocean. I think that would be really cool. Although that doesn't presently exist in real life so much on this planet. Um, I mean, it might be kind of tough to keep an entire city afloat in the middle of a violent ocean. All right. Um, I don't know what's going on with my great works. And so I don't know if I really need to build an art museum or anything like that. What do you need? You need amenities. I don't know if that's going to happen. Do you have an industrial zone? You do not. And you need a higher population to achieve that. This might be a good place for it. I could put a dam here and then put an industrial zone here and then put another district there. And then it would be between a strategic resource, an aqueduct, a dam, another district, and maybe another district. So let's do this. And then I should probably get some more, you know, farms and stuff because I've got these bonus resources I should be farming. It's going to take me 50 turns to do that. That's not good. I'll have a builder in two turns. I might send this one over here. That might be a good idea. And by might, I mean definitely would be. We'll just get another builder after that one. Oh, come on. All right, let's um, remove that. One turn for that settler. Not really sure exactly which which spot I'm going to put that settler on, but lots of good places. All right, the swordsman has killed him and get another diamond mine. Actually, did I even have one? I'm not sure. I think I did. We're going to expand to have diamond mines in uh, one of our cities pretty soon if we don't already have that. Okay. Now we can see the coast over here. He's taking the scenic route, in case you're wondering. That's what's going on there. Okay. Now, what was I thinking just a second ago? I don't know. I'm a very deep thinker. I get lost in my thoughts. Um, I'm not kidding. That's true. All right. You need to produce something for me. Let's figure that out. Um, you need amenities. I should probably build you a hippodrome. That would make sense. We could get another builder. I do need builders. I need lots of builders. Actually, I'd wanted to change that policy and put a builder one in. Mm. But I didn't do it. Well, let's get another builder here first, and then we'll deal with the amenities afterwards. And, okay, you want me to do something about this. I don't know if I really want to do that. I mean, I could get extra faith with Jerusalem if I put more envoys in, so maybe I will just to like improve our faith income a little bit more. Cause uh, that seems like a good idea. I think we still have quite a few turns of 
piece with Patrick Cootie, unfortunately. Wait, is that an ocean tile? No, it's coast. That's why you're able to go there. Well, this is all very irritating. Maybe you should just like go north. Okay. Now, I don't want my tagma to die. And I'm worried about this crossbow. I could greatly weaken him, however. However. I don't know how safe that is. You just go there and heal for a second. Okay. Now, you have a lot of things to do, Mr. Builder. Um, I could get some lumber mills over here. A lumber mill here. I th think, what city is using that tile? This one is. Okay, you go over there. And you, you can repair this on your way over there. Won't cost us any charges. Okay, now here are the diamonds that I have had near my empire. And we could, we could found a city over here. I mean, this one will be taken by Antioch soon. But we could get this one if we found a city here. I don't really want to found it right next to the volcano. It would be good to like, to settle the ley line. And then we could get silk. What is the loyalty penalty on this tile though? Maybe there isn't one. And in that case, that would be a good place. We could also just like settle on this little lake right here. Hmm, it's tough, but let's get moving over in that direction. I hope India doesn't get mad about me using my tagma for this. They may, they may get mad about it. There's not a lot I can do about that. And another settler will take me 17 turns, which is kind of ridiculous. Let's get an alchemical society. And we could get a workshop. I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. Can I buy something here? I could buy quite a bit of, quite a number of things. Um, watermill, monument. I mean, I could buy the workshop, but it's kind of like more expensive than what I would like to do. Hmm. I don't really want to boost the food in here when we don't have enough housing. So yeah, we will just work on that the normal way. And Quebec City, you need a mosque. You definitely do need a mosque. We could get some warrior monks. Mm. St. Basil's Cathedral. I would like to build the Taj Mahal, but I don't know if we need to do that. Hmm. Gets by religion one extra time. That might be useful. I mean, obviously it would be useful for us. Yeah, let's try to build this. And we can build it on the desert tile next to a holy site. It's a pretty good spot. I'll do that. And do we already have a theater square over here? I don't think we do. So we could possibly build a theater square here adjacent to the wonder and the holy site and a ley line. That would be pretty good. Pretty good. We might want to do that. Okay, and you can't go over there, but I just really wanted to see what these coastal tiles were like. That's really all he was up to. Oh goodness, they're attacking my tagma. Okay, Astronomy has been boosted. My settler will continue on. You can come back over here. You're going to need to keep watch. I feel like that ley line would be really good to settle on. 
There's some nice tiles over here. There's like the turtles with the reef. Unfortunately, I don't want to get rid of the silk to put a campus on it, but we could get the turtles anyway. I and mean, we don't currently have turtles. I don't know what luxury the turtles are supposed to be giving you. Like, is it tortoise shell? Is it turtle meat? I don't know. No idea. I know with whales that there's like a perfume ingredient. I believe it's like amber grease, like amber and then G-R-I-S. And it's like the most expensive or one of the most expensive perfume ingredients in the world that's ever existed. So that might be what they're getting from whales, but I don't know what they're getting from turtles. If you know, then you should let me know what it is. Okay, what would a pasture get me again? Plus one production, plus one food. Well, I think we need the mines more. You have three builds, okay. All right, I don't like this. You're gonna like hurt my tagma. Yeah, there's a whole camp over here. That's not the best. Now, it's claiming that I could kill the crossbow. I'm afraid I'm going to lose the tagma. And there's a musket man over here. Oh, for Pete's sake. What policies do I have in here? I can upgrade for 50% off. I don't know if that's going to help me, though. I don't have, like, a nearby unit. You're going to have to come over here. The barbarians are highly irritating at this point. Highly, highly irritating. Now, which unit do I kill or do I run away? And running away sounds like a good idea, but... Jeez. Oh, All right, I might lose the tag one. It's got two promotions. I don't really want to risk that. I don't really want to risk that, especially if I got that one for free from building the Hippodrome, because then it doesn't cost any maintenance and other ones would. I need to take a look at that. I mean, I'm probably not gonna risk the tag one anyway, but. Does it say, this unit does not cost strategic resources. So it's that at the bottom, all right, well, I don't wanna lose that one then. Probably just like best not to do that. Okay. Mm. I don't need any more iron. We could get more Saint Michel. Um, that would be bad. Obviously, we could get an aqueduct. We already have an industrial zone. I've talked about this one before. Let's just build the temple, I think, because we don't have the temple. We don't have the mosque yet. And all of our cities that have holy sites are like holy cities, exerting lots of pressure. And I think that that's a good thing to make the most of. Okay, now do I want an aqueduct? Because that's like a tough decision here. I could get this plus three industrial zone, but I want to see what this would be like if I put a mine there and Let's see. These devotions would take quite a while. What other things could we build here? You have a population of eight. And you have no districts yet at all. That's very weird. Well, we do need another builder, so let's just do that for now. And we need more builders over here. What did you just produce? Oh, you completed fixing the encampment? It doesn't look fixed. It does not look fixed. Why don't you build me a stable? That looks like it's like burnt up and terrible. You can't tell me it doesn't. Look at it. It looks awful. It looks like orcs live here. If you've ever played Lord of the Rings online, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, then you don't, but Maybe from Lord of the Rings movie. I don't remember how detailed that was about their camps. 
Okay, well, actually, I'm going to leave this part here on that note about orcs. <laughs> Just because it's random and strange and we are at like 45 minutes. So I will talk to you in the next part. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and you can leave me comments in the comment section down below. Yeah, talk to you next time. Bye.